What's up guys, Rotos up here, and today I'm going to be making, well I guess I can't really call it a guide because it's not particularly a guide, um, but I'm just going to be making a video showing you guys where I personally think the best place to farm and get um, both couch potatoes and evil magma peas is in the game. So if you enjoy the video today, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and um, I really appreciate if you guys go follow me on Twitter, but besides that... Besides things I don't normally say in front of a video, uh, let's just get right into it here. So I am over in Mirage at Yakhal Mountain, and if you go to like to the magic carpet quick teleport thing in like the Mirage, wherever the whatever the thing is, I don't even remember what like the common area of Mirage is. But if you go from there to the quick teleport, you'll get to basically exactly where I'm standing. And what you're gonna want to do is farm these Bumbai rebel warriors so let me explain why i think that this is the best spot to do it um and it's because bumbai warriors give you three things they don't just give you evil magma peas and couch potatoes um so i had to farm these guys on my storm for a while because let's see so i got one two well actually you guys are just seeing here so i got four evil magma peas and then about a page and a half, or not really a page and a half, but like a page and a quarter of couch potatoes. Uh, and that was over the course of, I think like five hours farming. Um, but keep in mind, actually, I just realized it's probably a lot more than that. Because there came a point during my farming where I just let my backpack be full. Uh, so yeah, because I kept on getting to max gold, so I just kept letting stuff go to the bank immediately so I probably actually got a lot more couch potatoes and evil magma peas um, you do get couch potatoes as a drop more often but the reason I was here farming is because it's also a really good place to get pierce blades and I was trying to get shadow pierce blades for my balance if I can go to my jewels here uh, so you can see all these pierce jewels that I got over the course of that like six hours of farming and keep in mind I was it came to a point where I started deleting pierce jewels um, because I was filling up on jewels so often so I probably got a few more pierce jewels than what you just saw so not only do you get couch potatoes but you also get evil magma peas and the pierce jewels so that's really good and if all this wasn't enough right if two things to farm from these guys was not enough uh, you actually also get gear drops and of course the gear drops you can sell for gold so you get three things you can gold farm here you can get couch potatoes evil magma piece and you can even get the piercing blades including shadow pierce which is really really helpful so i recommend doing this with a team of people or at least three people and literally it's just this simple right so obviously have a storm or fire with you just turn one tempest and you'll crit and then what's going to happen is either they block okay so we don't kill them on turn one but they block um, or they just don't and even if you're solo farming this you can still pretty easily be doing this in two turns now of course if you had two people to play support as well as a storm uh, what you can do is probably get this done in one turn even if they critical block because you just put two blades on the storm storm uses tempest and then bada bing bada boom turn one it's over so it's a really really quick way to farm and of course i that was a terrible example i just didn't happen to get anything um but zeke is telling me things oh am i at max gold oh, i'm almost at max gold okay so anyway uh yeah that's all i've really got to say it's kind of a quick video because again it's not really a guide guide it's just kind of like go here <laughs> like if you want to get couch potatoes or even if you're just looking for pierce blades, I highly recommend going here. The drop rates for the pierce blades, except for shadow for some reason, I could not get shadow. It took me many, many, many hours to get two shadow ones, but I got every other school at least times two. So yeah, so it looks like the shadow ones might be a worse drop rate, but everything else is a fair drop rate. Couch potatoes are actually a pretty decent drop rate. Uh, evil magma peas are a little more seldom, but you still get them more often than what has previously been possible because back in the day the only boss that would drop these were like avalon bosses and you don't want to farm an avalon boss like being able to do 
these mob fights that can end in one turn or two turns max is much 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 more preferable so um, like i said if you guys enjoyed the video today if you found it helpful let me know uh just like i said check this area out next time you're looking to farm for either pure stools or um, if you're just stuck because you need plants and you're looking for couch potatoes and EMPs, this is a great place to get them. This is where on my alt account I farm for plants because my alt doesn't really have a lot of plants. So yeah, that's all I've really got for you guys today. Pretty quick video, but um, yeah, Roto Zap out. Peace.